Hello, Cardinal Foley families. I'm excited to share information with you as we prepare to return to school in just a few weeks. We have worked very hard to ensure that the return of our students, faculty, and staff will be safe and welcoming. We look forward to a school year filled with opportunities to deepen our faith, enjoy academic challenges, and continue the Cardinal Foley spirit. You may have noticed from passing our campus, a lot of work has been going on to upgrade our buildings. Many of these upgrades follow the recommendations of the Campus Restoration Task Force and are a direct result of the recommendations and guidance given by the CDC, State Health Department, and the Office of Catholic Education. In this presentation, we will share with you the daily expectations that will keep our school as safe as possible in this environment while continuing our mission of Catholic education and faith formation. Here are key measures that have been implemented. Daily registration upon arrival by the faculty and students, the classroom and hallway social distancing, hand sanitation stations, restroom protocols, face masking, the children's lunch, and the need for individual water bottles. A critical component of our safety plan is a committed partnership with our families. This safety plan depends on your cooperation each day. A 19-member multidisciplinary task force headed by a leading infectious disease specialist, Dr. P.J. Brennan, began working in May to develop our safety plan. Screening is the first step in a four-part layered set of safety practices that will give us the best chance of keeping the school free of infection. Screening applies to everyone entering the school, students, faculty, staff, and volunteers. Parents play a critical role. Check with your child to see if they have any of the symptoms on the Google Doc that will be pushed out to you overnight and again in the morning before school. Make sure your child is safe to enter school. We are counting on you to be part of a collective effort to keep the school as safe as possible. Every day you will receive an Option C email with a link to a symptom screening Google form. This form must be completed each day after your child is awake and for each child by 7.45 in the morning. No child or staff member will be admitted to the school building without this form. Arrival at school during the first week will be exciting, but different. We ask that you pay close attention to the guidelines that will be enforced on our campus. The children will be directed to a specific entrance to be checked in. At each entry point, students will line up socially distant. Staff will greet and check the students in making sure the Google Doc has been submitted. As an added precaution, there will be random thermal screening of students and staff. If a form has not been filled out or if a student looks unwell, the student will not proceed to the classroom and a parent will be called. The children in St. Dennis Building will enter through the screening station at the usual main entrance to the building. Children in Annunciation Building, grades 4 through 8, will enter through the screening station at the gym entrance. The children in Annunciation Building for preschool and pre-K will enter through the back lower level door. Clear signage will be posted directing families to that entrance where the children will be screened. Please note only the parents of preschool, pre-K, kindergarten, and first grade students are permitted to escort their child to the entrances. All other parents of students in grades two through eight are asked not to enter the school grounds. The next steps in the safety process include social distancing, wearing a mask, and practicing good hygiene. Everyone should maintain at least six feet of social distance. This is important while waiting in the line for a school bus, while riding the bus if possible, on entry into school and throughout the school day. Cardinal John Foley School is fortunate to have sufficient space to enable safe distancing in classrooms. Desks will be six feet apart. While changing class and moving around the school, everyone should travel as close to the wall as possible, which will allow for six foot distancing. The next step is masking. Wearing a mask will be mandatory for everyone in school, except for those who have medical conditions that preclude it. Masks should be worn while waiting for a bus, on the bus, waiting in line for school entry, and at all times thereafter. We are planning to allow for mask breaks periodically throughout the day. Finally, good hand hygiene is essential. Washing with soap and water is best, but not always possible. 
Hand sanitizer stations will be positioned throughout the school so that students and adults can cleanse their hands on entry before and after recess, whenever they cough or sneeze, and before and after meals. Frequent hand hygiene is essential to a safe school environment. Children will need to bring their own filled water bottle to school because the common water fountains will not be in use. Lunch will be eaten in the classrooms, which are nut-free environments. The process of enhanced cleaning will happen throughout the day and after each school day. The task force has worked to create manageable plans for this critical component. An outdoor container will be in place for forgotten or needed items for the students. Visits to the school will be by appointment only. We are ready to start the school year with necessary safety precautions in place. We need everyone to do their part to make this work smoothly and safely. Our lines of communication remain open. The work of the task force will continue. We are committed to reevaluating these plans once they have been practiced and make necessary changes. When the changes are made, our health and safety plan will be updated. We thank you for your support and patience. Our faith has helped us through these challenging times. We trust in the voice of the Holy Spirit to help guide our decisions. Please stay safe, God bless you, and we'll see you on September the 9th.